so today we're gonna check the next lab at uh, in our free trial and see what we get up with but today let's go with security plus network vulnerabilities that's the introduction to exercises and uh, that's it so I'm gonna click here power on all devices this one is saying busy P lab demand controller it's getting turned on so let me resize this video in the meanwhile so you can see the whole and still if we can see it's busy establishing connection it's on so Kali Linux you see all of them at once um, switch to busy and now two of them are on and then the other one is on <coughs> so all right so we are call we got everything on green on and um, let's see if we have to log into something <coughs> this one Reconnect, where is reconnect? Reconnect, okay. And um, let's see. Okay. So, <coughs> one by one is better. Alright, so let's go. With the, I think we turned on everything. Task one using Nmap. P lab Kali. Zero one root okay. So this is the one that we are in, you can see, and so root is same as in administrator and Windows. login this is the desktop cool application zero one information gathering and and map right there alright the terminal window yes root at Kali that's the terminal so you have to type in this command 192.168.27 dot zero slash two four so basically it will search between zero and twenty four so they say that the command will save the results in a file that we specified here this one 
you could name it anything like I could put it imron.txt then it will go into imron.txt I think it's done because the cursor went to the next uh, there they want you to open it uh, sorry close it and go to application choose usual application accessories then leave pad okay let's go to application usual application all the way down and leaf pad right there it's a little bit slow so leaf pad right there what's the step six choose open that's why I like uh, CMD command prompt you can open the file within the CMD and you don't have to go so click open section click root and you go for host.txt and here you have the results so you can see this is host is up latency what ports are open uh, so you can actually check and you can check the services like what services are being used at that specific ports so it's a long file you can go up and down all right so now they want you to close this text editor let's close it out you see how it closed uh, it's a little bit slow what's this beef XSS framework root terminal I can locate in on the desktop that should be this one right what is Firefox all right so I'll click on this one okay type and map slash o i think it's a capital o slash s s 192.168.27.0 slash 24 greater than this time how about we change it hosts one dot uh, hosts one txt press enter so I put a one over there because I want to show you that there will be two files now it's not gonna for the clarity like you will say oh, okay I, we already opened the hosts uh, file what happened to that one and all that so I want to show you that there the, the first file is already there this one simply um, created a new one let's say they want you to know that it will take a minute it's there so application choose choose an application application why okay and we're not gonna from apple application leave pad file and if we go open now to the root 
you see there is the old file and then there is a no, new uh, file let's click open it <clears throat> and this one you can see uh, the name um, I don't see the host one name I thought that just like in Windows and the name of the file is uh, on the top here but anyhow no exact OS matches for host TCP IP fingerprint OS detail Linux 3.10, Linux 3.2. A little bit of information over here. All right. Using Zen Map. So next one is Zen Map. Let's do that. So basically, this lab is good if you have a, like if you go with the book. You have book. You can read the theory and then you can do the lab and have a better understanding but just like taking this uh, lab blindly like I'm doing uh, you may or may not in this, uh, get it or more like I may or may not get it alright so now they want you to find the send map it should be under information gathering of course is the last one Sparta is there minimize p lab window 10 right click on wireshark and run as administrator okay i want to use this one we use wireshark at home work uh, so let's see what else is good for wireshark for uh, we're gonna go to our intent so we are in p lab windows 10 right click on my shark run as admin network analyzer oh that's the so, packet uh, all right select ethernet Ethernet and click on the blue shark fin that will be this start capturing packets okay now we have to press start I think that was the start <coughs> it says V yep so it's uh that's working so basically it uh, um, sniff or logs all the transmission going on through the network Quality here. Zen map is open. Type target is one nine two dot one sixty eight dot twenty seven dot one eight. Click scan. Click scan. How oh, was this one scan right here? So I think now it's complete. So 
script scanning. <coughs> so it's uh, working. And just keep going. Could not resolve scan me dot. I think it's done now. <coughs> Let's give it a minute. I wanna say it's done. So let's get back to our Windows 10 machine that is this one. And capture menu and they want us to click on the stop or stop button is right there. filter box that would be this one TCP all right <coughs> so so yeah. we want to see it's better if we go with this one like uh, we sort them out right there these are the one ah vulnerable so you see that's why it's red and zero three zero dot three is uh, Kali Linux. Oh wow! Look at that. All right. Then the publication is open. We get a one sixty eight twenty seven dot zero by 24 and scan so now we're gonna get the list of IP addresses that machines are vulnerable three minutes to complete okay we can wait three minutes <coughs> So if you're wondering, uh, if you don't know, Kali Linux is the one that uh, wrongly used as the term. Uh, it like they say that oh, it's uh, used for hacking. It's basically used to find out the vulnerabilities of any network or computer and it depends on the person how they are using it what they are using it for uh, there are 
um, certain courses like penetration test, uh, ethical hacking, white hat, or gray, uh, and security, and where Kali Linux is being used. It's not to uh, hack somebody, it's to find the vulnerabilities of a network. Just look at the log file that's going through. You have to read that and you have to like it's uh, just a bunch of uh, lines but uh, each line has a meaning and a trained I will know what to look it for look in it for if you see the last few lines it's detecting the OS in those hosts and if if you can see we give it a range between 0 and 24 so what are the devices that have that have the IP address between 0 and 24 it's trying to detect their operating system and if you see the top lines it it was uh, scanning the ports and whatever it discovered it uh, uh, listed them that hey against this IP address I found this port open <clears throat> before taking the security plus I strongly recommend that uh, you at least take the network plus so you are familiar with the network uh, can you do security plus without doing a plus and secure network plus yes it is possible it's gonna be just harder so they say no I don't want to waste the uh, money or time uh, it's um, think of it as, as a stacked so you have very much more knowledge and experience and you are a better uh, engineer or security specialist if you have knocked on at least Netro plus so a plus I say like when people say that everybody has a plus that's true but the thing with a plus is that it gives you the basic understanding which a lot of these network engineers or uh, CCNA guys they don't know all right so once we list get the list of hosts we are done raw packets and all that let's get on to the next one click on dot 18 so let's uh, can I put a little bit there I want to say this second from the last is 18 and yes it is so Twenty one is open. That's Microsoft FTP. The secret two dot txt has a file TED that's obviously gonna be open. It's HTTP. So it looks like it has a Microsoft operating system on it. Windows 10 Enterprise, yes. Domain service, Windows 10 Enterprise. It's a work group, vulnerable. So you can see general purpose. It is it's running Microsoft Windows 10. There's the OS detail. Was the build 10556. Mm -hmm. The current build is uh, for Microsoft, and that's I believe it just released a week ago, 1909. So the uptime of the system, it has been up for 45 days now it's three hops away if you remember from the last night video we ran that trace RT to find hops 
or hoops uh, TCP sequence prediction so basically you when you see a log file like that um, that's only at like uh, through study and training you can read this one Click fish eye. So we're gonna go with the topology tab. That is right there. And we click fish eye. Discover host detected by the scan. So it's giving you an idea of what's in there I want to say these are file servers or servers all right so that's the local host so what it meant by use if you remember it said hoops three like so it says one two three one two three so that's how when it's scanning it's telling the number of nodes involved all right host details so up is open port seven ports are open IP address is this one operating system is this so basically it's like a little GUI interface for you to see everything what we were looking in the log file like what ports are used if you remember 21 <coughs> all right so I hate when it's sluggish. Comments. Ports host tab. Ports and host. This so this is telling you in a graphical user interface like what's open. So you see TCP all the transmission transmission control protocol. So 21 is FTP, 80 is HTTP, and these are open. These are being used by these services. Minimize. All right. So let's go to the next one. Packet selecting. So you see this tell you better understanding. Refer the course material. You read the theory. And then you come and practice it then it makes a lot more sense window 10 toss bar open let's go to windows 10 all right open rubber network captures five to clear this one out and then click this one so, 
statistic and conversation. IPv4.15 IPv4 So I4.16 not uh, No, we don't see eighteen. No, we it's not the right one. So I think we have to close it <coughs> and reopen it. Stop and quit without saving. Yeah, go. Let's let's go with the open capture five right capture <coughs> all right static set and conversation conversations now we have 4.15 so and now we can see that 18 is right here and then 18 18 18 18 so uh, if you see there are two column address a and b so these are the one that they, they are communicating with these ones and if you say 12 here and you see the 12 here so 18 is communicating to all of them disappear TCP 6 point so where are the ports this or uh, oh right there <coughs> all right so if you go to 18 you can see all the ports I want to go down a little bit so we have the maximum 18 on the screen so you see all the one and it's sending uh, this our dot 18 is communicating using these ports to these devices on this port all right so we're done for this one this is the packet sniffing summary in this lab you can read the following practical hand we are network footprinting and packet sniffing so this is what we've done uh, we never went to the DC one DM one or DVWA one but those were necessary for to be the network to be up and running and to what we wanted to do all right so this is it I learned something <coughs> and for this and this start go all three and four and click and done we're done we go back here all right this is it let's uh, I hope you learned something I did learn a thing or two uh, definitely it's uh, a, 
you you need the book the material and labs and then videos like uh, what I do is that's how I do it I read the book uh, I'm gonna make a video of how many books I have <coughs> so I read a few pages whatever I can understand okay hey that's how it's done good whatever I don't understand I try to do it on in a lab environment even if still uh, after trial and error I feel like um, I'm not sure then I go and watch a video so I utilize all three medium I would strongly suggest you do the same definitely I'm gonna do it when I take the security class um, but that's a topic for another day and once I will take it you will see a lot of security plus videos um, let's see uh, let's call it a night uh, if this video helped you in any way please rate comment like subscribe and share good night